Angelo, magnesium is a, a very common nutrient. Everybody talks about it, but can you tell us what it actually does? Well, magnesium is a mineral and it participates in hundreds and hundreds of biochemical reactions within the body, from energy production to feeling vital and, and feeling relief from stress. It sort of calms and nurtures the body in that way. 99% so of magnesium is actually stored in the bone, the soft tissues and the muscles. How are our muscles affected when we have low levels of magnesium? Well, our muscles use magnesium to relax. So when you're deficient in magnesium, they cramp and contract because they're not relaxed. So you can feel muscle tension, you might feel spasming, twitching, tremors, as well as additional pain. Do you think people would get enough magnesium from food sources? Well, the current stats for magnesium deficiency in Australia is that 70% of Australians are deficient. So I think that says that, no, we're not getting enough through our diet. Magnesium obviously comes from the soil because it's a mineral and it's abundant in plant food. So some of the favourite ones are bananas, dark green leafy vegetables, nuts and seeds, avocado, and most people's favourite is dark chocolate. So cacao is quite a high source of magnesium. And then on top of it, I would suggest if you're finding you are suffering with some of the symptoms like muscle cramps and fatigue, that you consider supplementation. And in that supplement, you look at the diversity of different types of magnesium within that supplement. Many people use magnesium on its own, but can it be used alongside other nutrients? Absolutely. In fact, I would encourage it because typically with natural medicine and nutritional medicine, it works collaboratively all together. So some of the favourite combinations I find uh, in magnesium formulation are B vitamins particularly. And when you're looking at more muscles and joints and things like that, combining magnesium with curcumin and glucosamine is great because magnesium working as a muscle relaxant, if the muscles are tight, that can affect the joints and it can affect the bones, which can make you more susceptible to injury. So when you combine magnesium to relax the muscles and with a curcumin, which acts as an anti-inflammatory, and glucosamine or some sort of joint support, you're working in a really positive physiological way with your joints and muscles. Thank you, Angela. It's great information that you've been sharing with us. It's a beautiful day. I'm going off for a walk on the beach. I'm going to take some magnesium-rich food. I'll take the bananas. I'll take the dark chocolate. Oh. I'll leave you the spinach. I'm off. Leave some chocolate for me. <laughs>